Today we're going to talk about arithmetic sequence. Here we will learn how what an arithmetic sequence is, how to continue an arithmetic sequence, how to find the, the find missing terms in arithmetic sequence, and how to generate an arithmetic sequence. What is an arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is an order of set of numbers that have common difference between each consecutive term. For example, the arithmetic sequence 3, 9, 15, 21, 27. The common difference is 6. You can get you can get the common difference by dividing or adding 3 in the first and the second term. An arithmetic sequence can be known as an arithmetic progression. The difference between consecutive terms is an arithmetic sequence is always the same. If we add or subtract by the same number each time to make the sequence, it is an arithmetic sequence. We have the term to term rule to tell us how we get from one term to the next. Here are some examples of an arithmetic sequence. First term is 3, the second is 9, the third is 15, the fourth is 21, the fifth is 27. These are the five terms, the five first five terms. The common difference is 6, so if we keep adding 3 by 6, we get 9 plus 6, 15 plus 6, 21 plus 6, 27. We can, we can also get the common difference by subtracting, by, by negative, also by negative terms, I mean by negative terms. The first one is negative 4, we are going to subtract them by 5. The first five terms uh, is negative 4, negative 9, negative 14, negative 19, and negative 24. We get those first five terms because we, because we subtract 4 by 5. 9 by 5, 14 by 5, 19 by 5, 24 by 5, so on and so forth. What are arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic sequence are order of set of numbers that have common difference between each consecutive term. If we add or subtract the same number each time to make the sequence, it is an arithmetic sequence. How to continue an arithmetic sequence? In order, to, or in order to continue an arithmetic sequence, we should be able to spot or calculate the term to term rule. This is done by subtracting two consecutive terms to find the common difference. We can get this by the first term or how many terms like infinite if we have blank 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 so if we have two blank blank six the common difference is two you can get this by i'll explain it later okay we'll continue by and continue an arithmetic sequence take two consecutive terms from the sequence second Subtract the first term from the next term to find the common difference, which is the co which is D. Add, add the common difference to the last term in, in the sequence to find the next term. Repeat for each new term. So this is the arithmetic sequence formula. The arithmetic sequence formula is AN equals to A1 plus N minus 1 D. In where AN is the nth term general term a1 it, it, it is the second is it is the first term n is the term position d is the common difference so now we're going to use the arithmetic formula arithmetic sequence formula so for example consider the arithmetic sequence 15 uh, 5 11 17 23 29 what is the value of the 12 12th term of this sequence. So the first, the a sub 1 is 5. 1, 2, 4, 5. So 5 terms. 5, 11, 17, 23, 29. So we're going to use the arithmetic sequence formula, which is a sub 1 equals to a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d so the f so we're going to put that a sub n will be 12 equals to 
He's sub one. He's just five. Hold on. <coughs> okay, next. The nth term. So we're going to find the 12th term. So we're going to put 12 minus 1. And the common difference is 5 minus 11, 6. Correct. So next, a sub 12 equals to 5 plus 11, 6. How we got 11? So we go back to the. We're going to go back to the, the last part, which is 12. Which was 12. A sub 12 plus equals to 5 plus 12 minus 1, 6. So we're going to do 12 minus 1. That's as simple as that. Next, 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 next is a sub 12 plus, uh, I mean, equals to 5 plus 66. So what? So how we got 66? All you're going to have to do is ele we're going to times 11 and 6. So 11 times 6, 66, correct. So the last one, the last thing to do is 5 plus 66, which is 71. And that's how we just used the arithmetic sequence formula. That's all to, for today. See you next time. Peace. Babush.